Hey everybody, welcome back to Jimmy's Promo. And today I'm gonna to share with you how you're able to fix your phone if you're running into any issues. Maybe your phone is slowing down, it's getting a little sluggish. Maybe the battery is starting to drain quicker than it used to. Maybe you just got done doing an update and it's causing a little bit of problems with some applications. So today I'm gonna to show you two things you're able to do to make your phone work a little bit better and probably hopefully resolve all of those issues. So this first one I'm gonna show you is how you're able to fix your phone if it's kind of lagging, sluggish, if the battery is draining a little bit quicker, especially after an update. That just means that there's a lot of data, a lot of cash just being stored in between those updates that doesn't need to be on your device, which is causing some of those issues. So firstly, you just wanna turn off your device. So once you turn off the phone, you wait till it goes all the way to the black screen. Then what you're gonna do is press and hold on volume up, as well as the power button. And this is gonna put you into the recovery mode. Now there's a lot of things inside of the recovery mode, so I'll show you a few things of what those do. But again, you just wanna hold up on the, or press on the volume up, as well as the power, press and hold, both of them at the exact same time. Once the screen turns on, you'd actually be able to let go of both of them. And then it's gonna put you into this recovery mode screen. Now, once you're inside of the screen, you have a bunch of different options. With you being able to go with the volume up and volume down, that's how you're able to move and select which one. So volume down just takes you down, volume up, brings you back up one, and then hitting the power button is going to basically be the enter. So up here on the very top, you have this one that's called Reboot System Now. That's just basically gonna turn it off and turn it right back on for you, go back to normal. You also have Reboot to Bootloader. If you needed to do a little bit more you know, in depth of diagnosis of your phone, apply update from ADB, apply an update from an SD card. So if you store maybe an update on an SD card, this is how you're able to uh, install it from from the SD card. Here's that wipe data or factory reset. So this is another way that you can do a factory data reset. This is the one that I'm gonna show you right here, which is the clear cache partition. This is just wiping all of the cache, all of the data that's sitting in between updates that doesn't need to be there. Again, causing issues to your phone. Uh, and then you also have a few more down over here. You even also have a run graphics test, which kind of looks cool. I believe a couple of these here are kind of new here on Samsung One UI 5.0. You can also just power it off. Uh, and then you also have repair apps. So I haven't really played with a couple of these on here, but the most uh, important one I wanna show you right now is this option here, which is wipe cache partition. So once you use your volume button to go down to that option, you hit the power in order for it to uh, uh, go through with that option. Again, the, the power button is basically the enter. And then once you go down to yes, you do wanna clear the cache partition. You just hit on the power button. It's done it for you. And so now you just reboot. It's very simple. Again, you just press and hold on the volume up as well as the power at the exact same time. When it goes to this screen here, you just let go and you go down to wipe cache partition with the power button being enter. So now that you have done all of this, we're gonna go to the next step, which is maybe you're still having issues with a particular application. Maybe it's YouTube giving you a problem. Maybe it's Samsung messages or Twitter or something else causing a problem. I'm gonna show you those steps to fix that one application itself without doing a factory data reset on your phone. And also at this point in the video, I do wanna state if you're brand new here at the channel, Jimmy is Promo, you appreciate these tips, tricks, tutorials and the latest information on your Samsung Galaxy devices, make sure to hit on that subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications to get notified for all future videos. So now that the phone is turned back on, now let's take a look at what happens if you have an issue with a particular application. So maybe YouTube is an application that has been causing you some issues. All you'd have to do is find that application. You just want to press and hold. Then you go to the little I, which is the information. It's gonna give you into that app info. And through this application here, you just wanna go into storage. Now inside of storage, this is where you go to clear cache and then clear data. And really all this is doing is it's, it's getting rid of all of the application's data uh, that again, could be causing issues. Maybe there is between updates, some of the stuff that was stored with YouTube, which is maybe uh, the light, light mode, dark mode, the system mode, things like that in terms of the color of it. Uh, the small little nuance changes that you have done with this application is probably causing issues between different updates, things like that. So now all I really need to do here is if there's something that has been changed, I just have to go through and change it back. So let's say that we go inside of here, 
We're going to go inside of settings. I'm going to go to general. Uh, and so inside of general, for example, let's say we go to appearance. You can see that it's using my device theme. Originally, how I always like to use it is dark theme. So now that I've switched it back, if there's any other changes I would like to change, maybe my double tap to seek, maybe I want to move it up back to the 15 seconds. So, uh, you know, I double tap the screen. It'll, it'll just fast forward it by 15 seconds instead of 10. Maybe I want to go a little bit quicker. This is what I had it on from before. Now I'm just right back to normal. I'm right back to where I was. If there's any other changes that I needed to do, I'd be able to do it. Here you can see the little settings in terms of allowing YouTube to send you notifications. You want it on or off. So again, it's really going back to the normal stock version of that application itself. Again, fixing any of those issues that you may have experienced. So example on the YouTube one that we just got done talking about, maybe when you turn your phone to go into landscape mode from horizontal or horizontal to landscape, maybe it doesn't automatically rotate for you, but you have that option turned on. If you clear that, that, that data and also the cache, then hopefully you'll be able to have it all fixed. So that's really all you would have to do is wipe cache partition inside of that recovery mode. And then you can clear all of the data for that particular application. So you don't have to reset your entire device just the application that is causing the issue. But hopefully you guys appreciated this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left-hand side. And if you like this video, the more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.